G'day Play Legends and welcome back. On today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you why this brand new design and monitor from BenQ, the PD3220, is going to enhance your photography editing, your photography skills, and your video editing to an entirely new level. Because it has for me. On today's video, I'm gonna explain why. Let's jump into it. If you're a professional photographer, videographer, or graphic designer, and you've never heard of the company BenQ, either you're an Apple user, or unfortunately, you cannot call yourself a professional photographer. BenQ have designed the 3220U for the professional that's looking for premium gear, maximizing real estate of 32 inch on their office desk to get the best quality work out of their workhorse monitor. Everything from the base of the unit all the way up to the support of the monitor is made from premium. It is heavy. You can tell this design is meant to last a long, long time. The monitor just clicks in very simply, meaning you can transport it from one office to another. The monitor also rotates and can be flipped vertically. Although I won't use this much, if not at all, in my photography editing, the option is there for those graphic designers that do want to make a poster in that A3, A4 aspect to maximize the real estate of the 32 inch. When I talk about premium, the connectivity on the BenQ is absolutely outstanding. There is two HDMI ports, a display port, there is 85 watt USB-C, which means you connect your laptop, Apple device into this monitor, charge and power your laptop using the motor from that and the monitor of the BenQ 3220U. Two USB-C 3 ports. On the side, there's another USB-C at 15 watt output, a USB 3 and also a connectivity for your headphone. However, one addition I would have thought the 3220U would have had is an SD card slot. However, I must say the USB-C connectivity on this is premium compared to the 27 inch. And I am using a USB-C hub, which does take SD micro, which my GoPro and drone take. One amazing feature about the BenQ premium monitors is the hotkey puck. This is immense for when you want to change workflows between RGB, Adobe RGB, Rec 709, P3 color space, changing your brightness, whatever it may be, can be done on this hotkey puck in front of the screen. No more reaching around the back, trying to find the buttons and understanding where the up and down is. It's so simple to use with the hotkey puck and something I really adore about the BenQ monitors, especially if you're doing graphic design, then all of a sudden doing website design, photography, videography, it changes your workflow and it's so simple with the custom buttons of one, two, and three. I am powering it with a BenQ screen bar plus, which is a must have in my professional use because of photo editing. I use it in a dark room and that little bit of ambient light which doesn't project onto the monitor is absolutely immense. And now I must say the upgrade from 27 inch to 32 inch is incredible. I can already tell photo editing is going to be so much easier, but the number one thing is things like photo editing on Premiere Pro, a bigger real estate is going to be an absolute dream. Now one truly remarkable thing about this monitor when I first turned it on is how sharp it is. It's a 4K monitor. My old BenQ monitor is a 2K monitor. And I've never used a 4K screen before because I've never really seen the point until now. The Fujifilm 26 megapixel sensor really shines through this. The detail and sharpness is absolutely incredible. Am I gonna use 4K all the time? Probably not. I'll probably reduce down to 2K at some points, but that's a great thing about the hot putt key. I can change that 2K, 4K, whatever I need to, so simply. Another incredible thing about the BenQ monitors is that they come color calibrated, meaning I can turn this screen on and start photo editing. My old monitor, I had to calibrate to get what I wanted, and I've edited this image on the old screen. I turn this on, it is exactly how I edit it, which is absolutely perfect. So that 100% Adobe uh, sRGB really shines through. In the old monitor, it's 98% Adobe RGB, which is a little bit better for photo editing, but the 4K and the real estate is really shining through at the moment. So now I wanna go through and edit one of my old images. I'm gonna use one of my deep space images of the Horsehead Nebula I captured. This is 15 images stacked at 300 seconds each because I can talk about all the specs that I want about this monitor, but really it comes down to how it performs. It could be the best thing ever on paper, 
but the worst thing ever in reality. So right now I'm gonna edit an image live with you guys and let you know my instant thoughts about this beautiful BenQ monitor. Well, let's hope it's beautiful. So there you have it, a beautiful image of the Horsehead Nebula, 15 images stacked together, each image shot at 300 seconds, edited on the BenQ 3220U. One of the most beautiful images I've ever taken, an absolute dream to edit on this professional monitor. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this incredible image, and here it is. The good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. My final verdict on the BenQ 3220U, the professional monitor for photography, videography, and creative design. The first thing I want to state, and the most obvious thing that I realized when editing this image, 32 inch 4K resolution is the sweet spot that you need on your desk. Previously, I used a 27 inch 2K monitor. It is perfectly fine for photography, videography, and your creative design. The 32 inch, the real estate, gives you a beautiful amount of imagery with the control panels in Lightroom left and right being big enough. That 32 inch is a huge upgrade. The 4K resolution when you punch in is so crystal sharp. It is incredible. If you haven't got it, you don't realize, but now I've got it. That 32 inch with 4K is definitely, definitely the sweet spot that you need for your photography and editing in your office. The connectivity on the back, I complained earlier about the no or lack of SD card. If I had an SD card, I wouldn't use it because I've never used a monitor with USB-C. I can plug my USB-C hub in the side and connect my SD card, which I uploaded just then. It's faster, I can take micro SD, and I can also extend it out to more USB if I need. So really, it's nil and void. It's a huge positive for the connectivity. Now, one little thing I did notice that's why I edited this Horsehead Debut image, is the red, 100% sRGB. Now, if you know the color gamut, red is one of the hardest colors to get in between Adobe and sRGB. If I was to print this image, and also this image on my desktop has a lot of reds for Sunset and the Australian Outback, I can definitely tell the lack of red in this imagery, and if I go through and change it to Adobe RGB, we are only getting an 80% Adobe RGB range. Now, is that really going to affect someone? If you are editing, printing, and selling your imagery, yes, it possibly could. If you're just doing website, social media, there is nothing that's gonna change. sRGB is the way to go. It's a little bit of a downfall for me, that's the one thing I noticed with this. Reds, you have to really punch out, and I'm afraid when I print the images, you're really gonna notice the difference between Adobe 100% and Adobe 80%. But overall, this really is the ultimate creative-minded. If you are just doing photography, it's probably not tailored for you. I'd still look at the 100% Adobe RG photography monitors from BenQ. But someone like myself that gets paid to do design, website design, I edit my videography for YouTube and photography. Creatively, this is one of the best monitors on the market for its price range. 4K at 32 with all the connectivity, 85 watt USB-C output so you can charge your Apple laptop and use it as a modem into this is really, really impressive. So I would give this a solid nine out of 10 for my verdict for the creativity of what I need. I'll leave all the links in the description below and also the photography monitors. If you're just interested in photography, you will save a little bit more money on the photography monitors unless you wanted to go the 4K photography monitor you're looking at the same price. Photography, photography monitor, thank you. If you're a creative minded person, this is the bee's bloody knees. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you are a photographer that is serious, if you are a 
videographer that's serious, if you are a creative minded person that is serious about getting off the ground and getting into work, getting paid, this is a monitor for you. Let me know what you lose, use in the comments below. I'm always interested to know about tech, the gear, the specs, all that sort of stuff. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts about this monitor. For me, huge win, super pumped. Have to thank BenQ for supporting this channel as always. But guys, there's one thing I can guarantee you. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.